check in with you in just a bit. We're four days away from the solar eclipse where parts of the Ozarks will be in that path of totality. And if you're wondering what that means, we have meteorologist Natalie Nunn here. Natalie, talk to us about the difference from totality and say just 95% covered. Jesse, it really is a lot. Springfield, we will see the sun about 95% covered by the moon. West Plains will be in totality. Now let me show you the difference. In 2017, the solar eclipse cut across northern Missouri. And this video is taken here at the station where we were about 90 to 95% obscured. Notice it stays pretty bright throughout. Now in the path of totality, 100% of the sun is blocked by the moon. And in totality, you will see what looks like a 360 60 degree view of the sunset. You're in the ring of fire. On Monday, the path of totality will be 150 miles wide. Can we switch it over to Max 1, please? West Plains, Mountain Home, Arkansas, and other parts of the Ozarks will be in the northern edge of totality. In West Plains, we will see about 3 minutes and 4 seconds of darkness. Poplar Bluff will see 4 minutes and 9 seconds of totality, and they're truly at the center of this eclipse. Now, because of the influx of people expecting in rural parts of our viewing area. MoDOT's warning people to not stop along the interstate or any major highway and don't park on the shoulder. They also want you to turn your headlights on if you'll be driving during the eclipse. Now, we have more coverage on our website. Simply go to ozarksfirst.com. And Jesse, we'll be out there for totality as well in West Plains. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, we sure will. We will be in West Plains Monday on Color 10 News Daybreak. We'll have our Daybreak on the Road series. More on that uh, as we get closer to it.